What's up guys, it's Ari here uh, with a new video tutorial and this tutorial I am going to show you this new plugin that I found the other day. Now this is a jQuery plugin, it's, it's not a WordPress plugin or, or you know like a CMS plugin, uh, it's a jQuery plugin. And basically this plugin helps you to create carousels and create sliders. So just like the examples that we see here, you can create a full slider, you can create a carousel for example to showcase your logos and stuff like that. I I checked it as I was working on a client's website and it looked great and really flexible. So I thought I'll share this plugin with you. Uh, so what what I'm going to do in this uh, tutorial is basically download the plugin and start basically implementing it in this website. So if I refresh this, um, there's this section here in the header which is empty and what I will do is I'm going to um, get a few images that are provided from the carousel as in the demo uh, section and then get the code, get the plugins and try to implement them to create this slider here. So let's get started. Uh, we start first with downloading the plugin. I have already downloaded it just, just here and what I'll do is just extract it and then try to go back to my code editor and try to get the assets loaded into the website. So I'm going to start with this one. Um, so just so I can show you here, um, when you extract the, the file that you downloaded from here, you have all of these files here. The files for the plugin are here, all the assets that you need. And here are a few demos. Now, if I sh the demos that you see here, you can also see them uh, here. So it's the same thing. I'll click, for example, in this one because this is the one that I'm actually gonna put on on this website. So um, let's keep this page open so we can see how it works. Uh, so first, let's load the assets in the website. Um, first, starting with a CSS. Let's just put this down here and get this. So what I would need is uh, this folder and I would need this one and this one and I'll put them to my CSS file. Okay, so they there, and then I'll go and get this uh, the the jQuery, the actual jQuery plugin, and I will need to put that in plugins. So uh, just grab that. Awesome. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, just uh, link it here on on the website. Um, to save time, what I'm going to do is just use this. Um, it should be a demo somewhere here, this one, that has all the like the HTML examples. So for example, here is the loading the CSS assets. I'm going to copy that and go here and paste it and then just change the, the paths. So the actual path for my website is assets and then CSS. And then I need to do the same thing for the one underneath. So that's all good. Now I need to load the, the JavaScript and the JavaScript is going to be loaded down here. And let's just do that. This has to have a path of plugin and then it has to have this name. Okay, so the assets are already loaded now. Obviously we cannot see anything yet because we don't have the images there, but now I'm going to add the images. So this is the section that has this, you know, this, uh, you know, the, the header with this color here. So let's modify it and let's, let's add some of the images. Uh, I will start, actually, I'm just going to copy the images from the demo just so I don't have to type them. So I'm going to get all this section and paste it here. 
in our JavaScript we target this selector and this will apply the uh, the you know the so this selector is, is going to apply you know the fu the functionality down to these images uh, one option is to do it like this the other option is to have like a UL and then have this all as um, you know as an, an ordered list but it's, it's gonna work anyway like that's something you can do on your own time anyhow so we did this I'm gonna save it and then last thing now so we loaded the JavaScript we loaded the CSS we loaded the images oh I just need to make sure that the images have the right path so images So now the images have the right path, and I just need to go here and create um, the the actual um, JavaScript so so it, it works. Otherwise, without that, it's not going to work. So to do that, I'm just going to go back here and look, read it, the documentation. And basically, is this one here. It's really easy, as you see. And I'll copy that and go here. Um, this needs to go so these ones are things that you can customize but I'm just gonna delete them because they're not useful right now um, the navigation is the one that is you know the next and previous you see this is the slide speed this is the pagination speed um, they're not that necessary for this um, and the single item is the one that will create the actual slider if this is not on it's going to create a carousel instead of the slider so let's like for example just try to say false and save it and go back to our browser and check it and it's not showing anything I just want to check what's wrong to see if the images are showing um, so they showing as you see but something is blocking them uh, one thing it might be that in my case in this specific website it used to be a different slider there so um, some of the CSS might be blocking it so what I'm gonna do is go and say height auto and Now I also need to, before I forget, uh, just add the style for, because this these images are not that big, so what I'm going to do is add the style sheet that will say to, to go through like 100% of, of the width of the browser, so that way it's like going to go all, you know, it's going to go all the way. So I'm going to do that and go and say hide. Uh, auto and then do the same thing for all the three other ones underneath and save and then refresh again so something is stopping this thing from working let's see what it is uh, let's say to make this true Okay, so something is making it not work. Let's see what it could be. The URL for loading the JavaScript is not correct. It has, it has a spelling mistake, so I'm going to go and fix that. So let's put this false so you can see. And go back to this one, and it has to be instead of plugin, plugin has to be plugins, and then the refresh. Okay, so now you see how it's smaller because it's supposed to be carousel. Now obviously you cannot have navigation or anything because it's only three that it doesn't fill the whole thing. But if I go back to my code editor and I go um, say true, and then save. Uh, it's gonna work now. Okay, so that's how it is. 
it's pretty easy so that's where it is it's, it's really as you see it's really easy to use and it's responsive as you see now let's say you want to customize this section and this section I'll show you how to do that uh, what you need to do is go back to the front page in the website and go here we're saying customizing and here it will have a few features that will help you customize it for example autoplay if I go back here and I go autoplay and I say true it's gonna make this the slider basically out of place here because at the moment it just stays like this by default it doesn't uh, rotate but if I refresh and we wait a little bit see how it automatically rotates so that's how you can do that and you can go on through all of this and see what you need um, pagination is this little three buttons uh, so I'm just gonna do that and it's really easy, false. And it's gone. So the other thing that I can check here, for example, there are some advanced features here. Don't worry about them at the moment. Um, but there are some simple ones like navigation. This will, this one will totally disable this. So that's how you can check that. And that's it now you have like a really nice looking if you want the navigation back you can just say um, oh so we have we have this one here so it's the same thing I'm gonna delete this um, if you want to customize let's just say this um, if you want to customize the text it's really easy and if you want to have your own icons and stuff like that or use like something like uh, uh, icon font or something like that, like font option, you can easily do that. Um, is this other feature here that you can go and paste and go back to the code editor and do this. And basically you can uh, just say old new and just uh, refresh and you see old new is so easy to do and in the same thing you can also have um, HTML within this so that's how you can integrate something like font awesome so you have total control you can make it look really good with without too much effort so see how it applies the text uh, the, the italic so it's, it's really easy to use so this is pretty much the tutorial. It's very easy to use, as you see. It's very easy to make something responsive out of it. Um, it has advanced features. You have to read through the advanced features, but in most cases, like if you want something that will make you a quick slider and you can easily customize, this is like the best solution ever. So I'll include the, 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 the link and the code in, in the, the description and in my blog, so you can go and get it if you like. Um, and if you want the same tutorial to done to be done for uh, implementing it in WordPress, then you just let me know and I'll do another tutorial for that. So thank you for watching this and uh, see you till the next tutorial.